Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Joel. Joel. We have a new video. Uh, I have another set of, of Chevy LS heads, aluminum heads, for the LS engine. People been asking on um, and I have all the updates, everything on my Instagram, 13 Bidorito. This one I decided to start a new series. It's gonna be start to finish. First day, what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna talk about the tools you need and the little tips and tricks you can use. Okay, to start, you're gonna need one of these bad boys. You're gonna need air. Any brand, don't worry about it. Just make sure it has top 15 or 20,000 RPM. You're good to go. Safety first. You need some goggles, some glasses. See, this one has a little foam in there. Oh, we have full, full closed ones. It's the wall right here. See everything close, nice and neat, so you can avoid any debris, any piece of metal going through your eyes. Because if you go to ER right now, you may even get end up getting infected with coronavirus. Hope everybody's doing good, doing well. Safety first. You're gonna use that. You're gonna need this bad boy. Okay, on the bridge you're gonna need. There's two styles on two kinds. If you're gonna be doing aluminum, this is for aluminum. See how open they are? Check these ones are too. You see? See how they look? Those are the aluminum ones. And this one right here, these are the conventional ones. The ones everybody uses. This is for metal. You can see how they look, the difference. These are long, I think I bought it from eBay or Amazon for like by like 20 less than 30 dollars this is your long uh, how long is this like four or six inches or so those are the regular ones it's aluminum the extra long and this is the normal ones the one you buy at snap on any other tool truck this happened to be mag tool purchase all my tools nothing has been sponsored now we have that out of the way we have a little trick you can use the regular metal ones on aluminum but you need to use this trick Alright, so the little secret is this. This is your best friend. When you're doing aluminum and you have aluminum burst, you have metal ones. What are you gonna do? Get some grease, any type of grease, white, uh, for bearing, for anything. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little dab, almost nothing. And you're gonna put it right on the tip. So you're gonna grease it. You're gonna grease all the tips. Don't put a lot, it's, it's a little dab, and then spread it all the way around. So what we're doing here, this is gonna prevent the aluminum to sticking into it. So we'll be able to reuse it. And then this one is gonna minimize the chance of your uh, aluminum bars getting stuck like this one right here. Let me show you an example. You see all the aluminum there? That's bad. So we want it nice and clean, like the big one next to it, the little egg shape, the little cone. See how nice and clean it is. Same on those. So to avoid this right here, all you do is grab some little dab of grease and then put them all over. So that's how you use the uh, regular metal ones into aluminum. So those are the tools you're gonna need. Uh, you're also gonna need so you can blow, you're gonna need the air. Uh, another more important, there's different ways to do this. Uh, don't take my advice as a first step, second step, no. You can go ahead and do the exhaust, you can go ahead and do the intake, you can go ahead and do the, the chambers. <clears throat> Sorry. So what I do, I always do the face first, the chambers, and I start by doing the bowl. I do the balls first, the ball cut, and this is my secret. 1.750. So the main goal here, you put them in here, and then check it out. You see how stuck's there? It gets stuck. So now once start, once it start cutting, this one is gonna go through. It's gonna go all the way down. So that's how I know that's the perfect size. So this is my guide. I've been using it for many, 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 many heads that I've done. 
So you're gonna cut the bowl. Wow, diamonds. You see the metal ring right here? The seat. You're gonna grind it down. I'm gonna grind down this this aluminum right here. So aluminum here and this one here. So little belly here. All the way around. I'm gonna go down. Once you have the bowl, next step I like to do. On this one you have to worry about on the on the exhaust. The intake that's the only one I do the bowl. So you can come more stuff. So now one more thing uh, people's gonna find me about and then this, this true is that uh, on the intake side it's better believe it kind of rough because the atomization and then the, the uh, fuel and air mix like a little roast and then mix is better when you leave it kind of rough uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna delete the casting imperfection like you see the line going in there the fucking San Andreas fall and then this one here too <coughs> sorry you see all this meat in here around the the guide we're gonna make that flush into the guide itself so all this meat right here aluminum is gonna disappear is it this one how it's flat here we're gonna make it flush starting all the way from the end which is right here all the way down so this one is gonna disappear all the way like around here so we're gonna make it flush I'm gonna try to add some of the pictures from the previous heads I did of that and um yeah on this one we're gonna get all this in you see our roughness we're gonna make it smooth uh it's mainly with the sandpaper i uh, like using 60 80 and the last one will be 120 so it can be smooth super nice and then we're gonna smooth it out that's gonna be for next video but for now we're gonna get rid of the imperfections so we're gonna get the bowl done we're gonna get the bowl done all the intakes bowl 